Dogecoin's rally is absolutely impressive. It almost doubled in the last week, of course, supported by Bitcoin's rally, which is now at an all-time high above 80k. The question is, how much longer can this rally in Dogecoin last? Let's have a look at some on-chain metrics. Let's try to figure out who's actually currently moving the price. So what we've got over here is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is at new all-time highs. It's also, of course, above the 120-day simple moving average. That's the moving average that historically worked the best for Bitcoin when we run the backtest numbers. And so we are off to the races. I'm in the market with leverage right now. I took advantage of this rally very, very nicely. But of course, Bitcoin is nothing compared to the Dogecoin rally. In the last seven days, an appreciation of 90%. And in the last month, an appreciation of almost 160%. And the reason why this is so impressive is, again, the market cap. Dogecoin is huge. For Dogecoin to double in market cap, a lot of millions have to flow into the asset. Dogecoin has a market cap of 43 billion right now. It outperformed pretty much any other meme coin in the last seven days. Only Nero was able to catch up, but Nero has only a market cap of 1 billion, so 1 40th of Dogecoin. Now we have to take the on-chain analytics that we're going to look at with a grain of salt. Because most trading volume actually doesn't happen on chain, most trading volume happens through the centralized exchanges, through the Binances and OKXs, etc. of this world. Those centralized exchanges are black boxes. We can't really look into them. We don't really know if it's small retail that's currently buying, if it's the whales that are buying. We don't know. Here, have a look at this. Here's the trading volume of Dogecoin in the last 24 hours, dominated by Binance with 15% then follows OKX and Gate.io. And on top of that, we've also got levered bets on the price in the form of perpetual futures. 11 billion worth of Dogecoin moved hands through those contracts on Binance alone in the last 24 hours. And so what kind of on-chain analytics can we actually do? Dogecoin is its own chain. So if you want to buy Doge outside of the chain and outside of the centralized exchanges, we have to buy a ported version. Now the most liquid ported version is on the Binance Smart Chain. And so make sure you buy the right token. Don't follow for something that's got the same name. The token address starts with 0xBA2 and ends with 4C43. And so on chain, we've got more than 800,000 holders. But of course, not all of those holders are created equally, right? Some of those wallets might just have a few cents of the token, while other wallets might hold millions. So let's look into the data in a bit more detail. Let's segregate those different wallets by their holding. This is something I do regularly on this channel. And what we see over here are long-term charts. They start in April of 2021. And on the left side, we see the number of wallets on the Binance Smart Chain that have at least 3,000 Dogecoins. At the current price of 28 cents, that's roughly $900 or so worth of the token. For the chart in the middle, we go at 10x in minimum holding, so that's now $9,000 worth of the token. For the chart on the right, another 10x, so $90,000. We can see how small retail pretty much stopped accumulating Doge in May of this year. We can also see something similar for medium-sized retail, we can see how the whales, they tend to even now reduce in numbers. When we just look at the last month, the number of whales on chain on the Binance Smart Chain went from 290 to 270. So a reduction of 10%. Again, while the price went up by 158%. Now, among the larger cap cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin is probably one of the most volatile ones. Thus, timing the market is very critical. And so we do see some interesting data again through the on-chain analytics. Here is a very useful chart. We see the number of buyers and sellers over time. So on the left side, that's the count. And on the right side, that's normalized to 100%. Now, what is so interesting here? Let's have a look at two data points recently where the number of buyers outpaced the number of sellers massively several days in a row. So we had more than 80% buyers, only 10 to 20% sellers. What happened during those two different points in time? So let's first look at the 15th of October, 2023. That was over here. It was just before we saw a nice rally in Dogecoin of 70%. Now let's have a look at the beginning of February, 2024. That's over here. Again, just before we saw a massive rally in Dogecoin of 130%, maybe even 180%. And so unfortunately, we don't see that imbalance right now. Otherwise, it would be a clear buying signal. Right now, it seems like Dogecoin could be somewhat heated. 
And I say this because of two things. Number one is that the Dogecoin dominance, so the fraction of all of crypto that's currently in Doge, is spiking up quite a bit. And in the past, we have seen those spikes and subsequent deflation. The second problem is that trading volume is pretty high and there is some correlation, quite strong correlation actually for Dogecoin between the attention, the trading volume and the price. When all of those things are high, of course, we tend to afterwards trend down. And so again, let me show you what I mean. Most people just look at Dogecoin with this chart, which is just Dogecoin in US dollars. But the problem is that here we've got the influence of all of crypto as well, right? When Bitcoin goes up and Ethereum goes up, and of course Dogecoin goes up as well. Thus, I like to look at relative valuations. And what we have got over here is the Dogecoin dominance. How much of all of crypto is Dogecoin? That's currently at 1.55%. And we did see very similar rallies in the past and subsequently Dogecoin underperformed the rest of crypto by more than 50%. I'm not saying that history will 100% repeat itself. I'm just saying that this is not necessarily that pretty of a chart. Now, secondly, we've got the trading volume that's here at the bottom. And just have a look at when this spiked, we also tended to spike in the price. We've seen this in November 2022. We've also seen this in March of 2024. And so, yes, we can see a secondary rally, but even those kind of drops, this is not insignificant. This is 24% down. And again, we are currently very, very high in terms of attention. The Trump win for the election and the support by Elon Musk that still plays around with the Doge name, of course, can generate quite a bit of attention, right? He calls his new department where he wants to increase efficiency in the government, the Department of Government Efficiency. In other words, D-O-G-E, Doge. But yeah, the question is, how long can this attention last? I think it's rather risky to buy Doge now. Among all cryptocurrencies across all chains, Dogecoin is already at number six. It's got almost half the market cap of Solana that sees billions of trading volume every day. I believe most gains are to be made in the small meme coins. It's about figuring out meme coins that will gain attention in the future and where it doesn't need that much money to move the price. Because when we look at the meme coins that outperformed the best in the last seven days, their market caps aren't that high. The best one had less than 100 million in market cap. The second best is, of course, Dogecoin related as well. But again, if the original Dogecoin goes down, then probably this derivative won't do that great either. I have a look at this, Fartcoin. I made a video on Fartcoin several weeks ago as well. I also purchased it. I announced this in the premium membership here. And the point is that the real outperformers tend to be in the lower market caps. It's not necessarily in the six largest of all of the cryptocurrencies. Doubling something again that's already 41 billion in market cap is really not that easy. And so here's what I personally do. I look at different wallets. I track wallets. I try to figure out what kind of influencer owns what kind of wallet. And whenever those kinds of wallets make transactions, I look at those transactions and I vet them and I tend to buy with the influencer because what very often happens is that an influencer buys a small meme coin, for example, and then afterwards, after they purchased, they then announce this on Twitter, they then announce this on YouTube, and then the price tends to shoot up quite a bit. And so have a look at this, for example. Crypto Banter bought the Peanut token. That was on the 3rd of November for three cents. Peanut is now absolutely going bonkers, 140%. In the last 24 hours, it's up now 800% since CryptoBenta bought. And so this is the CryptoBenta channel. It's got 1.1 million subscribers. And we've got 33 of their wallets. We track in total more than 400 wallets. And so people are making money. I just recently sent a welcome video to a new joiner. He's following the different wallet notifications and it's already paying off. No surprise here. There's an entire course on wallet tracking. There are eight videos just on how to find influencer wallets, how to track them, how to then afterwards interpret the signals. There's more than a hundred tutorial videos in total also on on-chain analytics, the things that we looked at in this video, also on risk management, on portfolio diversification, etc. We are also discussing the individual altcoins, when to buy, when to sell in dedicated chats. And so feel free to check it out. It's currently 125 US dollars per month. The link is down below, thebitcoinstrader.com. There's also a one week money back guarantee. So in case you don't like what you see, simply just message me within the first week and I'll refund you 100%. And so I think it's already too late for Dogecoin. I think the upside potential isn't really there anymore. We can't necessarily double and triple from here that easily. I think the real chances are now in the smaller altcoins. 
And if you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish news regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. Helps the channel grow. See you in the next video or see you in premium. Cheers.